Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another August Morphe Me subscription. Um, I received my Morphe brushes two days ago in the mail and I kind of just wanted to tell you my thoughts about it. But before I get started, I just want to say I am a proud supporter of Morphe. I love their brushes. I think they have great quality brushes for such an affordable price. It's not even funny. Um, I love the idea that they came up with shipping boxes to you every single month of some favorite brushes. I think that's super cool, super awesome. No company does that. I know like BoxyCharm and Ipsy send you like random brushes like I think like one brush randomly in their month's boxes um, so I totally think it's a cool thing that they're doing but I will say I am extremely disappointed in this month's brushes it might just be me I don't know but I'm just not I wasn't that impressed I even when I saw the picture of what brushes were coming out I was kind of like eh um, but I will say what I think it is cool, I went on their website the other day, is every month that you receive the brushes, they give you 100 points. Um, and eventually, once you stack up those points, you are able to collect, like, rewards. I think that's really neat and really cool. Um, what else they do? Oh, and I also noticed that if you, I guess, like, if they put up a picture of the brushes and you want to hold out a month, you can cancel for that one month and then pick right back up the next month, which I think is pretty cool and pretty neat. Um, I should have done that with this month, but... It's whatever. It's too late. But anyways, let's just jump right into the review and get started. So starting off with brush number one is this small like little contour brush is what I would use it for. This is a Morphe M437. Okay, so before I get started, I'm sorry. Backtrack, rewind. Before I get started, the reason why I'm disappointed in this month's um, brushes is because they like basically sent you three of the exact same brushes. Like how many contour brushes do you really need unless you're a freelance makeup artist like me and you're gonna be doing a lot of different clients in one day like let's say uh, bridesmaids a whole bunch of bridesmaids I guess you can use a lot more contour brushes instead of having a spot clean between clients you just have like three to choose from or more than three and you don't have to clean after but if you're just a regular girl at home that likes to wear makeup why the hell do you need three contour brushes unless you're makeup addict and you just like to collect brushes but I was just a little bit disappointed because all three brushes are almost the same but back to what I was saying so the first brush you received was a Morphe M437 which is a small little chiseled contour brush this is great for getting a precise contour um, I didn't use this brush today when doing my makeup because I use the other one that's exactly like it but this is great for contouring it's super precise and super small I honestly I don't know if for the older people that started following me, um, you guys know that I'm obsessed with this e.l.f. powder brush right here, which is basically the same thing as this. This is a little bit fatter, whereas this one's a little bit more precise, but it's like the same length and height. Um, I feel like this one probably was exactly the same as this one, but I've had this for like two years now, so it's a little bit more broken in, but it's literally almost the same thing. So. Morphe, Morphe is already cheap, but if you want a similar brush from the drugstore, grab this e.l.f. brush from Target. Um, it's a mineral powder brush. But back to what I was saying, this is great for precise contouring up here. That's about it. I guess you could use this if you wanted to like highlight, I guess. I don't know. So anyways, on to the next one. This is a Morphe M530. I believe Nikki Tutorials talks about this, saying that this is her favorite contouring brush from Morphe, which I believe it because I used it today. This is really good. It's like goat hair brush, so it picks up powder really nicely. Um, I use this today to contour with. It's really soft, whereas this one's more densely packed, so it's a little bit harder when you put it against your face. This one's soft and it's fluffy, so you can definitely contour and then blend it out, which is what I did today. I use this for my forehead and all that kind of stuff. I really actually like this brush, although I'm disappointed with the whole month of brushes they sent out. But, like, can you see, like, how similar those are? Those are almost the same. This one's a little bit fluffier, whereas this one's more densely packed but they're almost the same. Like, do I need both? No. Like, I could totally be done with that one. But, and I do like my e.l.f. brush better than that one because this one's a little bit more fluffier and a little bit softer, whereas that one's a little bit harder. Then the next one is the Morphe M430, which is, here, let me show you, which is, they're obviously different. This is a Morphe M527, but this is like the baby sister to this one. I think there's another one like a Morphe M523, which is like an in-betweener of these. It's smaller than this one, but bigger than this one. But if you can tell, I don't know if you can see, my hair is like so dark. Let me scoot to the side. But as you can tell, this one's kind of flat, 
and like tapered outwards like it goes out kind of like a light bulb whereas this one does the exact same thing it's flat and then it tapers outwards um so it's literally the exact same shape as this one except this one's smaller um i actually use this today to highlight with because i wanted more of like an all over highlight not so like precisely on my cheekbones i wanted to give my face like a glow so i use this to highlight like that today and i dusted it over my cheeks um but I could also use this to set my under eye with with loose powder like Laura Mercier or the RCMA no color powder you could totally set underneath your eyes with this and it would probably work really well I just haven't tested it out and honestly it's kind of fluffy enough where you can either like contour or bronze up with it if you want like I said they sent us like three contour brushes which I think is a little bit unnecessary but I do like this brush is it a necessity no because you have this one um or the other one so out of all three contour brushes that they sent i'd probably just keep this one then the reason why i'm the most disappointed with this month's um brushes is because i've had it since january and i swear to god that they've sent us like six pencil brushes six pencil brushes like why do you keep adding a pencil brush like send me a different kind of pencil brush like i don't understand so the next one we got is a Morphe M431. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to go get all the other pencil brushes that they sent us so you can tell that I'm not lying. Okay, so I'm back. Okay, so maybe I exaggerated a little bit, but they have sent us three other pencil brushes. Like, why the hell do you need four pencil brushes? Like, I love makeup. I honestly could wear makeup every single day, do different looks. I love it. But all these serve almost the like same exact purpose. Highlighting your inner corner, highlighting your brow bone, your tip of your nose. You can like nose contour with this, I guess. Underneath your lash line. Um, I would say the only one that's been different is this one right here. It's because it's a little bit fatter and a little bit, little bit more fluffier. So you could totally blend out your lower lash line. But honestly, they're all the exact same thing. They're all the exact same thing. They do the exact same thing. The only one that I'm like obsessed with is it Morphe E36. I've never used a brush that highlights the inner corner or everything so well. I really like this one. Um, but I mean like literally guys, look how many brushes I have. Maybe it's just me. Hopefully somebody out there relates to me. But like do I need all these pencil brushes? Tell me. Do I need them? No, I don't. No, I don't. So personally from my brush collection, I did not need another pencil brush. And since I felt like they sent us three other ones, like why do you guys keep sending us pencil brushes send me another one you know like a fluffy eyeshadow brush or like a lip brush or something but that was the main pencil that kind of was like womp 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 you know so i'm again i'm not trying to bash morphe i'm not trying to be rude about it i love them i buy a lot of palettes from them i have a lot of brushes from them but this month i feel like it could have been better um that's just my honest review and like my opinion you know um but other than that i'm still going to continue my subscription with them just because i do like all the brushes that i've gotten so far a couple months have been my favorite a couple of them have been like eh this one was definitely like eh to me but i do like their brushes i do like receiving them it's a fun thing to wait for in the mail every month i definitely think it's worth it you get a lot of brushes and i'll you get a lot of brushes for just 19 bucks a month so i do think it's worth it i just was not excited for this month but that is it on my review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I helped you. Um, I don't know. I helped you with something. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for supporting me and for watching this video today. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.